stage three, where there is no time limit to worry about. We actually have three into stage three, and we haven't seen that in a few times. But uh, back for his second time in this stage is Sonic Fan 10193, host of Ninjas of Halo. And last time back in T3, he failed the supernova cliffhanger where he did this weird thing when trying to go for an upward ledge and ended up failing. So, despite the time away from this stage, let's see if he can maybe get a personal best and uh, become the second to at least reach the sending cliffhanger. As we're still looking at him, uh, a zoomed in close up. And it looks like Sonic is now off on stage three. It feels weird seeing someone other than Joey except from the stage, but at least we have more into it. Sonic has been to stage three in other courses. Hasn't beaten the stage 3 yet, but I feel like we'll be seeing that one soon enough. Maybe we'll even see it on this course. But now, window hell, I'm calling it. Trillo pitched the idea because I thought it was pretty cool and it's fitting as this is a very hard obstacle. And Sonic also doesn't like it as he lands it, but he lands right in the middle of the panels and can't hang on. That was a valiant effort, but that obstacle still proves to be a killer, even despite Joey beating it in the previous tournament. First one up, first one down, next Petrillo Fam 4. We also have not seen him on the stage in a few tournaments, as Sonic is there for another intro. He literally can't help himself to be in intros, at least on this course, as Petrillo knocks him off, which is very deserved. Uh, anyway, Petrillo! Petrillo is the only other person to have finished in first place. Doing back in Tournament 7, Tournament 7, Tournament 3, where uh, he was the first person to reach the last obstacle of Stage 3. He'd proceed to do that again, but would only end up finishing second. Uh, the next go around as Joey would reach the final stage and you know achieve total victory. Now Trillo's back on the stage. After seeing Joey so much, it's still weird to see more, but I can expect the Trillo to bring better results, I feel like, as the tournaments move forward. As he's getting these frog jumps very well, and the obstacle that he is now named Window Hell. I made the obstacle, but Petrillo helped name it as before it was just its class. Much better name, don't you think? Window Hell is. And Petrillo beats the jump, Sonic just failed. Joey's the only other person to have beaten this. Let's see if Petrillo can add his name onto that as he gets the second transfer. And as long as he don't mess up these jumps, it looks like Petrillo is going to defeat the third obstacle and be the second person to ever attempt the sending cliffhanger. Only Joey has attempted and beaten this obstacle, doing that in tournament uh, six, I think it was. We know it was seven, as it was unrecorded, but it looks like Petrillo is also, no he is not. The camera angle was weird there, but it looked like he got a good enough jump, but he in fact came up short. And I'd say that he failed the easier part, but that dismount is also pretty hard. But Petrillo jumped to try and keep his momentum, but it's better to stick it and then run at the wall to make the dismount. Petrillo out on the Cindy cliffhanger, but a valiant effort nonetheless. And now last man standing for about the 50th time, Avizia Vaze, Joey Davis, any one of those names. Back for his eighth time in a row. He was the only person on the stage for the past three tournaments, but now he watched two others fail at Petrillo get past Window Hell, which Babesia has actually failed twice. So let's see if he can now defeat it again. 
Unfortunately, this previous run on the stage was not recorded in which he reached the cloud bag, which was the second to last obstacle, in which he missed a spring, and he was that close to reaching the final obstacle for a second time. As you know, he has the most experience on this stage and on this specific stage three, as he has attempted it uh, more times than anybody else combined, at least in this era. As Joey tries to full send it into the window, but he does not make it. And that's it. That's the tournament. Joey does not achieve first place. For the first time in a few tournaments since Tosuke 3, Joey does not finish in first place, nor second place actually. And that's the end of Tosuke 8, which is different from what we've been getting and what I was thinking would happen. And Petrillo once again takes another first place away from Joey. The first time Tosuke 3, and for the first time since Tosuke 1, that uh, the stage 3 ends on a cliffhanger. Sonic finally sneaks his way into the second place position. And you know, first time that Joey here is not in the top two, but still finds a top three placement. And then Super Ninja Jake on his first stage one clear finishes in fourth. And Irish with his third stage one clear unfortunately failed the first obstacle and gets fifth. But uh, it's not all the time we see the top five beaten or beating stage one last time that happened was also t3 if i can remember but uh yeah next tournament will be mighty different and it also won't feature just 49 because i was stupid and lost literally every run in tournament seven i'm not going to get over it i swear but see you next time